TPS Russia is a Georgia-based YouTube channel founded in 2010 by creator and star Kyle Myers. The channel's main focus is the exhibition of exotic weapons and explosives, and follows Myers as a Russian character named Dmitri. The channel takes heavy influence from popular first-person shooter games, and in each video, Myers explains the specifications and history behind a given weapon, and then goes on to demonstrate it in use. Although not currently active, FPS Russia stands 6 million subscribers strong at over 700 million views, and was once YouTube's third largest channel. <laughs> so that is fucking awesome. Then all you do, drop the mag, throw a new magazine in. Myers may have been the face of FPS Russia, but those behind the scenes played just as important of a role to the channel as he did, most notably Keith Ratliff, who served as the show's producer and manager. Ratliff was 32 years old, divorced, and a father, who also ran his own smaller YouTube channel and occasionally made appearances in episodes of FPS Russia. In the midst of FPS Russia's skyrocketing success, the channel suddenly went cold and fans of the show later discovered that Ratliff had been killed. In January of 2013, he was found in his office with a single gunshot wound to the back of his head. Surrounding him were several of his own weapons, none of which, unfortunately, were able to protect him. To this day, no one knows who killed Keith Ratliff, but perhaps the most daunting question is why. A possible burglary gone wrong has been ruled out, since nothing appears to have been stolen. Suicide, of course, was ruled out given the nature of the wound that caused Keith's death. One important factor to note was that Keith was the member of FPS Russia specifically tasked with acquiring the firearms used in the show, and he also ran his own weapons-related business. Keith was able to do this using a special federal firearms license, which allows its owner to both deal in and manufacture firearms, ammunition, destructive devices, and more. Given these credentials and how crucial they were to the survival of FPS Russia, it seems unlikely that any members of the team were responsible for Keith's death. However, several other theories have surfaced, one of which points to Keith's business connections being a possible lead. Many speculate that Keith was murdered as the result of some kind of deal gone sour. Whether or not it was within legal boundaries will remain a mystery. Another conspiracy theory points to a more political motive. With FPS Russia's influential YouTube status in 2013 and its pro-gun message, it's easy to assume why some may have seen the channel as problematic, especially amidst the heated gun control debate following events such as the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. Whether or not this was the work of one disgruntled individual or an organized group remains unknown. Stemming off from this is another, more far-fetched theory that the U.S. government arranged Keith Ratliff's assassination as a part of a covert operation against pro-gun advocates. Despite this, as most murder cases go, suspicion has also fallen on those close to Keith. Many have pointed out that there were no signs of forced entry, and how strange it was for a gun expert such as Keith to not have been able to defend himself. His brother even mentioned this in an interview, stating that he believed the person responsible was either someone Keith knew, or he had been ambushed. So who exactly killed Keith Ratliff and why? Was it personal or the result of Keith's controversial line of work? Sadly, we may never know, 